Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Philly Ryan, MUT Tips. You already know. Glad to be back in front of you guys today. Just wanted to pop on for a minute, see what's going on with all you. I'm gonna throw some music on in a minute, but I'm gonna probably export this part of the, this portion of the video, so that's why I'm not doing it. Probably send this over to YouTube. I'm as you can see on the top of the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You see the. Twitter handle Philly Ron, or you can uh, follow at Mutt Tips, which is M U T underscore T I P S. I believe that's how it is on Twitter. Um, but you'll know if it's the official real deal or whatever because you'll see the Mutt Tips logo. All right, so with all that out the way, let's go ahead and talk about some something that's going to be pretty interesting. We already know about the esports coming up. Madness trying to enter that that. Um, community basically or present themselves to the world with a esports uh, arena so that's 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 a great thing i saw problem talking uh, i guess on twitter or whatever a little earlier reiterating something that i said before which is if that happens we actually need to have um we need to have we, we should have access to our audibles like we, we definitely need audibles they need to bring that back they need to let us set our own audibles because if it's competitive it needs to be competitive you know it shouldn't be force fed it shouldn't be this is what we're giving you um, as far as these generic plays so that your opponent doesn't really have to think um, in case they came out in the wrong thing you know you can only do one of four different things, which which is kind of corny, which is unrealistic. Uh, now, I know it's a video game, um, so it can't be um, extremely realistic. I know it's not a simulation football game, so it can't be extremely realistic. I know tournament players don't necessarily want things to be, or the way tournament players play the game, some people may say, you don't play it realistic, so how can you complain about when they limit your options to four things? Um we know that's not realistic. We know that's something that can be easily fixed. So it's things that can be easily fixed. Let's go ahead and fix that. And I believe the guys at EA are um, talented enough to do that. So I'm calling on Rex Dixon. Um, and not personally calling anybody out. I'm just calling on him because that's that's the guy that we know um, has been the face of the community this year. I'm calling on Guru, Mutt Guru. I'm calling on S. Gibbs. I'm calling on RG. I'm calling on Chow. I'm calling on those guys because I know the effort and passion you guys put behind the game, and that's something I believe that you guys can bring back to us. You know, we need that, especially when it's when it's going to be a competitive field out there. We need that. You know that that I mean that's it really that's all that's all it is. That's a necessity. Um, so with that said, I just wanted to put that out there. Want to say what's up to whoever the followers are in the channel, whoever came through. Definitely appreciate you guys. Um, so, and with that, what I also wanted to do was I'm starting to see with the gameplay from the Madden Challenge, right? I'm starting to see the old days come back. And what I mean by that is back in the day, we had this blitz called the Whip Whip Man Blitz. And you can run Whip Man out of multiple formations. Um, or the setup you can run out of multiple formations. So you had like the 4-3. You had Nickel Strong. You had Nickel Normal. You had Quarters. And if it wasn't Whip Man, it was going to be Under Smoke. Or if it wasn't Whip Man, it was going to be Fire Man. All right. So you had all of these different formations. But essentially... You had the same blitz that you can send from those formations or you could basically present pressure to the offense in multiple ways. So why I say that mimics the this current version or what I saw in the Madden Challenge mimics what happened in the past is what we would do as competitors, as professional players, um, and this may offend some people, I don't, I don't think it would, but it will let you know um where you fall all right so what we would do is we would actually come out and throw what i call a friendly whip man out to an opponent so this is like 
when we first start off the game, first drive, our opponents on offense, throw that whip man set up. Now, and if your opponent had no clue what the hell was going on, you knew you was playing against someone who wasn't experienced playing Madden. All right? If your opponent knew how to deal with that, you knew, okay, I got to find a way to sneak this blitz in to try to create pressure, but I'm going to keep setting it up or keep showing that I'm setting it up so that my opponent has to prepare as if I'm sending the heat. So you had to always prepare for it. If you came out unprepared, you was going to get sacked. But there were so many ways that you can get around it. And gameplay, it didn't limit, you know, the experience at all. The different ways offense could have been played. So that's what I see um, with the new, like, dime 146 and the nickels that you can run and the two three sixes and the quarters that you can run to get that same type of pressure that you saw um, when Stiff was playing problem. All right, so that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to let you guys know um, that there's nothing wrong with that. I know some people were saying, oh, that's a glitch. No, it's not, you know. Okay, it's, no, it's not. It's not a glitch because a glitch can't be stopped, all right? That's a flaw in the computer programming. No matter what you do, is going to produce a certain outcome. What you saw Stiff doing versus Problem is not going to always produce a sack if you counter it. You can't counter a glitch because it's a glitch. Hopefully you guys understand that. You cannot counter a glitch because it's a glitch, period. So don't call something a glitch if it's not a glitch, all right? Just call it what it is. You don't feel like dealing with it, so you're going to call it a glitch. Let's just be honest about it. All right? So that's what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw... I can't actually set it up. I'm going to throw... I'm going to play a game real quick. I'm going to play a game real quick. Salary cap beta. And let's just... Let's just jump out here. And I'm going to start off by just blitzing the hell out of my opponent. All right. Come on, come on. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. Let me cover up this uh, emblem. Some water real quick. Hopefully this fan I got a fan on because it's hot as hell. And I'm not trying to um sweat like crazy if I turn this fan on. So hopefully it's not impacting anything too bad. Let me just unmute real quick. Yeah, so I don't hear it on I don't hear it in the stream. So that's fine. Alright, so it looks like we got an opponent. So what I'm going to do, I'm just throw the blitz out there. And I'm going to let you guys see that it's, you know, you'll know right away if, if our opponent um, is skilled or not. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they, they don't have skill, but they're not aware of what's actually out there. And the one thing that I don't um have sympathy for is anybody not being pre being prepared i have no sympathy for you that's that's just it is what it is you press start you better be ready um to face whatever all right so that's this is what you guys got to be prepared for with esports esports you're going to come out here and you have to be prepared for everything if you plan on being the best if you plan on sniffing even a dollar of that million dollars you better be ready for everything that can be thrown at you, all right? It's not EA's job to make the game easy for you to compete. It's your job to get out here and practice and get some of that money, all right? That's your responsibility. It's not EA's responsibility. So, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out and I'm going to throw a friendly blitz at this opponent, all right? And all we want to do is, if, if he knows what's going on, 
then you'll see right away. And if not, he's going to he's going to be in trouble. Maybe he did recognize something. And he didn't see he was able to deal with the blitz, but the pressure still came in. But you see what he did? He ran a screen in. So let's see. Yeah, he's not ready. He ain't ready. He ain't ready. So all he did on the first play was actually flip his play. And by doing that, it actually screwed some things up. Um, but as you can see, he wasn't ready. And he went straight to a Hail Mary. Or maybe he thought he was going to deal with it with Hail Mary. So the number one thing that you need to do is actually make sure that you prepare for blitzes like this. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to I'm going to make everything look. Well, I tried to make it look the same. Give me that. So I tried to make it look the same so that he's now worried. Like, oh my God, every time I see this guy move, he's going to be sending some type of pressure. Um, and that's all it takes. That's all it takes. You don't have to stay on the same blitz the whole time, but you just gotta send that threat out there. And once you send that threat out there. They got to account for it all the time. Because if you whoop, if you don't, it's a wrap. And honestly, I don't even get, look, 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 look. Let's see what he's going to do. He ain't going to quit, is he? Don't do it already. Don't do it already. Don't do it already. Come on. Don't do it, man. Your name say Hindu the Great, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Come on, man. And, I, and I, I'm not in I'm not in game shape. I'll tell you that right now. And I'm not in game shape. I took five months off for college. You know, and then I bought a Xbox One. And now I'm trying to get out here and play some Xbox One. Get used to this crap over here. This controller. So my whole offense has now changed. Um, simply because I have to account for that blitz. You know, so I'll look at my opponent. He doesn't, he's running quarters. He's running quarters. Why would he drop everybody? Oh! Oh! Okay. I like that. I like that. So he's, okay. Let's see what he has. Come on, boss. Let's see what you got. Oh, he almost got me. He almost got me. All right, so he has some type of pressure. He's running the cover two as well. Okay, boss. So we might have some fun out here today. We might have some fun out here today, which is a good thing, which is definitely a good thing. So, but again, that, that's what it's about. It's about you coming out, you, you knowing uh, immediately if you're playing someone who you have to respect or you have to worry about, or if you don't have to worry about. That's all it's about. So, and then once you know what type of defenses are out there, because you know, you, you honestly need to be paying attention to that stuff, or you need to understand what setups are out there. Once you know that, you need to take that and get into lab, get into the lab or get into practice mode and prepare against that type of stuff. And then once you're good doing that, you can set up a base offense. I just ran this damn play and forgot what I'm running. You can set up a base offense. That was lazy. That was me. That was me. He's, you can take that to the house. I ain't even going to chase him. I ain't chasing him. Yeah, so you can set up a base offense. And then once you set that base offense up, you know that this is how you're going to move around when a person is playing this type of defense on you. All right, so... You can you can maneuver like that, so you'll be fine. Um, but again, it's your responsibility to get out here and prepare for all of this stuff. You know, next year this is a million dollars coming out here. So it's no one wants to hear grown kids, two grown men. And if you're a kid, I want you to understand this, because maybe your parents won't tell you, 
or maybe you came up in sports where they do give these daggone participation awards, um, that's some BS. There are winners, there are losers. Now, there's nothing wrong. There is something wrong with losing. But you can't lose and um, more than likely, if you prepare well, you don't have to worry about losing, all right? It's all about your preparation. So you have to make sure you prepare so that you can be successful, all right? That's what you need to do. For grown men, I don't want to hear nothing about all oh, EA needs to fix this game. Shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. And I'm sorry I'm saying that, but that's how, that's how I feel. Shut up. You're a grown-ass man complaining about how a game is played. Or complaining that you... Oh, that's hard. That was a bad throw. You don't want to do something that EA actually has in the game for you to stop whatever your opponent is doing. You want to be lazy. You want something handed to you. Grown men don't ask for handouts. Lazy people ask for handouts. If you want to be lazy, you don't deserve a dollar that EA is putting into this community for next year. You don't. EA might not tell you. I'm going to tell you. You don't deserve a dollar. You know, if my if my work ethic, if my, my hustle don't match what problem is doing or what uh, who are some of the other big streamers uh when i came out i maverick was big um uh mr golden sport those the, those dudes if you if your effort doesn't match come on with the dumb shit right if you're i'm talking too much but if your effort don't match them you don't deserve the type of viewers they get that's not a glitch from twitch it's you gotta you gotta man up and do better Twitch don't owe you a damn thing. Twitch don't owe me nothing. They gave me a platform for me to do whatever I want with it. And if I'm not successful, that's on me. But people got a problem with, you know, finding out exactly what they are. <laughs> Which is amazing to me because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a former athlete. I understand that you're not gonna win. Or you're not gonna win all the time. I I completely understand it. Completely understand. It. Break his damn neck. But again, so that's where he was. I'm gonna probably cut the video at this point and send that portion over to YouTube. So if you are on my YouTube channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I hope this information helped you. Please follow. Um, you know, check out some of the other videos. And if you're on my Twitch channel, please make sure you follow me on Twitch. Definitely appreciate you. And now that in this uh, 